Horizon Zero Dawn is set in a post-apocalyptic -post Earth. You can kind of see that nature has reclaimed what used to be ruins of a, a past civilization. Humans are totally fractured. They're kind of living in tribes across the landscape. They're not the dominant species. There's all these big, dangerous machines running around that you've got to watch out for. The Watchers are some of the smaller machines you're going to find in Horizon. They're always out investigating and scanning the environments. When they find something interesting or especially a threat, they'll, they'll turn to red and alert nearby machines. To bring the world of Horizon Zero Dawn to life, PlayStation tapped one of Hollywood's top special effects shops to bring the watchers from the game into the real world. When the Horizon Zero Dawn team first approached us to create the watchers, some of their expectations were that they wanted to not stray too far from the true design of the character. They wanted it to look as close to that as possible. Spectral Motion is a multi-tiered design studio. We build robotics and animatronics. Uh, we also do special effects makeup. The main challenge is bringing these characters to life is the physics and gravity. And making it look like this heavy metallic cables, but having a human be able to support the weight of such a thing has been, has been pretty tricky. But we've broke some new ground on materials and how we make things and how we integrate different materials together yet to make it look completely homogenous. Based on the design that we received, some augmentation had to take place. The machine size in the video game is about five feet or so, it seems like, but we had to change the design a little bit so that it could accommodate you know, a real world situation. We'll then do a one-to-one -one scale blow up. We'll take measurements and we'll have these huge uh, pictures printed out so we can see exactly what it is we're dealing with. The next step is to then do what we affectionately call a garbage bag test. We put stuff together with cardboard and garbage bags and scotch tape and hot glue, and we throw something together very quickly as a proof of concept to see, is this even approach that we're gonna go down, is it even viable? It was very rough, very down and dirty. The whole idea is just to give everyone an idea of, of what is actually gonna be in a three-dimensional space, because it's much different when you take it off of the paper. I would get the ZBrush model of the watcher, and I would start to isolate the head or the jaw so that we could begin to have them milled out of foam. And from that point, we'll then vacuum form those shapes and create a shell. By vacuum forming a thin sheet of this foam, we can get uh, various sorts of texture. This is an unfinished piece, but it's supposed to represent the gear that runs along the spine and let it hang over. The camera will be located up inside, right up underneath in this area. The video element is really important because it's going to be capturing the audience reaction. The lighting pattern will be identical to what's happening in the game at different aspects. And so it'll go from blue, yellow, to red. And there's a very specific pattern and sound that goes with that. We're going to have the controls in the costume, and they'll be able to interact spontaneously with anybody in E3. Inside the foam construction of the neck, there's a mechanical structure that helps support it. So as the neck goes up and down, there's two parallelograms, um, providing a perfectly symmetric move so the head stays parallel with the ground, as if an animal were tracking a target. Another very important aspect of our process is the fitting. When we have actors, performers come in and try the, uh, the equipment on. They begin to feel what the character is, and we begin to see their performance, to have them give us feedback uh, about
about what changes they may need uh, for ergonomics, you know, for, for comfort, for ease of performance. Do I have it all the weight still? Yep. Yeah. So here's the pack. Here's your hip belt. Once the final steps are taken here uh, in creating the cosmetic look, we go into a final rehearsal phase, and that's when everything really comes together. I think it's going to be extremely popular, and I cannot wait to just like stalk around E3 <laughs> and play with everyone. I think their jaws are going to drop, but seeing the beautiful detail that they brought to the artwork, just seeing it move, it just is its pretty mesmerizing. It's, it's just really beautifully done, and I think people are going to be out of their minds that this is like kind of brought to life right in front of them. <laughs> it's crazy to see it from the game now here. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh, it looks amazing. I love the detail in it. It really captured the, the essence of what it does in the game. Yeah. <laughs> it came out really, really good. Like all the details are spot on. And big props to those guys for making it work in the real world, in the real physical world. I know that was a challenge. I think it's especially hard to get it right because it has a certain charm in the game. And I think uh, you guys really nailed that as well.